Every day we show you weather conditions from different schools across North Texas as part of our SchoolNet weather program. Well, this week I visited one of those schools that's using the information uh, on the superhighway, the information superhighway to go one step further in both reporting and teaching about the weather. Well, it certainly creates excitement among, among the students. That excitement revolves around some new weather and computer equipment at Richland Elementary School. They're able to come in here every day and see exactly how much rainfall, not how much we had you know, at DFW, but how much we had right here on our campus. Instruments placed on the roof measure rainfall, temperature, relative humidity, light intensity, and wind direction and speed. Those measurements are then stored in a data logger that our weather computer at Channel 5 calls twice each hour. That way we can display weather information not just from a few airports, but from dozens of schools all over North Texas. But the students here are learning just as much as we are. It's really fun to get to uh, compare the differences between all of the rain temperatures between different schools. And now that the school is online with the internet, it can send out plenty of weather information as well. This means that any internet user in the world can, with just a few clicks of the computer mouse, find out the current weather conditions right here at Richland Elementary School. The internet has been exploding on the education scene, and it's easy to see why. So it gives us real time, and it gives us worldwide access to, to anywhere in the world to look at their weather and study their weather. That's can you cool. see the eye? And you can, yeah. see the, you can see how it's circling to the eye? And with everything the kids are learning, thanks to the Internet and the SchoolNet weather program, we might soon be looking over our shoulders in the Channel 5 weather department. Yesterday's high temperature was 87 degrees and the low was 65 degrees. We had a trace of precipitation and we predict a chance of rain. Those kids are getting pretty good, I'll tell you. And another exciting thing, the teachers at Richland Elementary tell me that within two years, they hope to have every class in the school district, the Birdville Independent School District, online with the Internet. And we're certainly hopeful, too, that more of our school net sites will get hooked up so it's an exploding thing, the Internet and yeah. school net weather. I was really interested to see all the little girls in the story. We're inter interested in it. You're always having to push to get girls more involved with science and math, and this looks like a really fun way to do that. A absolutely. The kids were just really excited the day I was out there, and they, they just loved it. Of course, part of it was I'd like to be on TV, too. <laughs> <laughs> that had something to do with it, eh? <laughs> well, they're doing a great job over there. Yeah, good. Thanks, Scott. Sure. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.